Open access solutions give 100% IRR. Open access solutions have 12 months payback. Open access solutions is the best investment that any industry can make today. Gaurav, I've seen you claiming this so many times in videos, in the meetings, at various platforms. But I, being the CFO of this steel company, want to ask you one important thing, which we ourselves experienced while procuring the open access solar solution. In May 2021, we signed up a long-term contract to procure open access solar solution and the power was supposed to get delivered in December 2021. But let me tell you a fact, we actually received that power in April 2023, which is around 15 months delay. You say 100% IRR. Does your IRR account for this 15 months delay? Because that's also a significant time loss is actually a lose in the return because it's like a present value concept on which the IRR gets calculated. Do you account for such losses or the time frame which has been lost? And let me tell you this, the time that we lost, which is 15 months time, was the only reason for losing that time is the delay in the land acquisition by the developer, which caused 15 months delay. Hence, my IRR, which was supposed to be 100%, dropped down to actually, I don't know, 10, 20, 15%. I've not even gone back to the Excel sheet and calculated because I'm just thankful that I got the power. Have you faced similar kind of situations? Do you get sleepless nights when you are in the process of procuring open access solar solution? Does your hand tremble when you are signing a term sheet of an open access solar solution? If yes, I've got you covered. Don't worry. The claims that I make about 100% IRR, we will demonstrate to you how it is achievable and how we have delivered that IRR to 30 customers that we have served. So in this story, wherein the CFO of this steel organization faced this challenge of possible 100% IRR to actually reaching a level of 10% IRR or I don't know which IRR he has reached to, one of the biggest challenge that he faced that he didn't do a proper due diligence on the land on which open access project is getting set up. So in this video, Video, I'm going to give you a powerful, useful 4L framework which will help you do a proper thorough due diligence on the land acquisition for the open access solar solution so that you don't get into this trap of losing this 100% IRR to actually a 10% IRR and waiting for 15 months for your power to get delivered. So let's go ahead and break down this 4L framework which will give you confidence on the due diligence of land on which this open access solar project is getting set up. Number one, the First L stands for land location. Ask the developer what is the location of the land, what are the coordinates, how far is it from the substation, is the substation on which this land is getting procured is blocked for that developer or not and how does that land look like, is it a industrial land, commercial land or agricultural land and if possible practically go and visit that land. The second L stands for land ownership. This is the most important L. Let me tell you, it is very critical to do a thorough due diligence that how many owners of the land it has been. Let's say if it has so many owners, whether all the owners have agreed, is there a land aggregator in between who has aggregated the requirement of all these owners at one place? Is it owned by a single owner? What are their demands? Do a proper due diligence, even though you are just making an investment, but you need to know how does the ownership looks like. Also check whether this land on which this project is being set up will be through a purchase process or it will be a lease process. If it is purchase process, whether the agreement to purchase or the agreement to lease has been signed or registered or not. If it is a lease process, what is the duration of the lease? How long this lease would be? What are the prices that developer is paying to them? So verify through the document and do a proper due diligence on the land ownership part. Third L starts for land agreement, which I think I have partly covered in the second L. In this, take the agreements, whether it is agreement to lease, agreement to purchase, agreement to sell, sale deed, lease deed, read them, send it to the expert, take their opinion, understand if the entire land is in the possession, whether the boundary wall is being constructed, how it has been the history of that land, so that you are confident whether it is a lease process, whether it is a purchase or sale process, and this is documented properly, and you should know whether these lease deeds, agreement to lease have been registered or not. So registered is the key word. Don't just go by any other document because that's where, you know, the registry hona, that's the most critical part. Fourth D, most ignored D, which is land due diligence document. In the process of land acquisition, every developer or industrialist, whenever they're acquiring a land, 
they hire a land legal expert who prepare a due diligence report during this land acquisition process so ask for that land due diligence process because that report itself will tell you who are the owners what are the challenges how has been the history of the ownership in the past are there any technical challenges related to this land so ask for that due diligence document i've seen most people ignore asking for this kind of information but this is where the actual due diligence lies if you want to earn 100% IRR. I hope you found value in this video to this 4L framework, which gave you clarity about how to do a thorough land due diligence and confidently earn 100% IRR in the open access solar solution. If you want to gain more value, here is my invitation to you. Book a one-on-one -on -one consultation call with us, which is a free call for you, which is for one hour. And in this one hour, we'll cover how you can do a due diligence, not only on land, but all other aspect of an open access solution and confidently procure the solution so that you can make 100% IRR. Over the last two years, I've added value to over 30 customers and have done more than 500 such consultation calls and people have found tremendous value. So if you want to continue this conversation with me or my team, please click on the link below and book a call with us. I look forward to keep adding value to you and see you in my next video. Thank you.